Okay, in this video, before we even start animating, we're going to take our weapon mesh and rig, and same thing with our arms, and import them into Unreal Engine, make sure the scaling and all that's nice, and from there we can continue. So I'm going to do the weapon first, so I'm going to open Unreal Engine, let's make a new folder, or let's call this, I'm just going to call this one Tutorial. I'm going to name it A Tutorial to keep it at the front. And let's make a new one, call it Weapon. Let's make a new one, call it Character. Inside a Weapon, I'm going to do a new folder, call it Mesh. Then I'm going to make another one called Animations. Then I'm going to right click and copy both of these. Into Character. So now both Weapon and Character have folders called Mesh and Animations. So let's go to our weapon, then our mesh folder, and we're going to import the weapon into here first. So I'm going to create a new folder in our folder that has all this info in it. I want to call it weapon. Create another one. Call it character. Or FPS character. Now back in Blender, what we're going to do is we're going to select the mesh, then the armature, file, export FBX and we're going to go to weapon now we're going to select selected objects uh, nothing else should really have to be changed we should be good to just click export FBX but let's give it a name of 1911 pistol and export and here it is we can view it in the 3d object viewer looks fine I think yeah let's put it into Unreal Engine click and drag and just leave everything as pretty much default or as you see here and press import we might have a no smoothing groups issue which we do so we can go ahead and actually solve that by going to file Export, Geometry, Smoothing, we're going to do Face. Then we're going to re-export it. Let me just double check that this looks fine. Alright, so we actually have some issues with some flipped faces. So that's why we can see through the weapon. So we're going to need to fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this here that we just imported and I'm going to delete it from our project as well our animation I want to go back into our 1911 final blend select the mesh go to edit mode press A to select them all I'm going to go up here to mesh normals flip mesh normals recalculate outside then press Control S to save. Now back in our animations, let's just drag this back in. Collections 1911 High Poly. It's already selected. Let's just try exporting this out again. Make sure it's smoothing set to face. Selected objects and export. Alright, attempt two. Yeah, they should still be fine. We haven't actually unwrapped the pistol or anything, which might be a minor problem. Alright, and that looks pretty good to me. Uh, lower the movement speed. Stuttering. Alright, so just the undersides of the slide have spots where you can see through it, but I don't think that's going to be enough to where you can actually notice it. And you can just see through the barrel, which also isn't a big deal. And we didn't make the mesh, so we don't really need to care about it. So we have our pistol now imported. Now we can go ahead and do the same thing for the character. 
So we're going to select the mesh. Um, let's do, let's add some clothing. So I'm going to do just the, I think I'm just going to do the tracksuit. So select the two meshes, the hands and the tracksuit. Select the armature, export. Go to our FPS character, make sure the options are still the same, and batch or just do export FBX. And I messed up the naming. Let's change this one to oh, son of a FPS character. And drag them into Unreal. I just realized what I forgot to do. It's we have leaf bones that we're exporting. So I'm gonna actually delete all these. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the pistol. I feel like an idiot. It's like, I was wondering what was going on. So I'm gonna delete the pistol and the armature for the uh, character. I wanna leave the armature for the character select well everything for the character selected, export again. We're going to go down to armature, we're going to uncheck, add leaf bones, and check only to form bones. For now, I'm just going to uncheck bake animation, even though we have none, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and export. And now, when we drag it into Unreal Engine, we should be fine. Just like so. And I dragged it into the weapon mesh section like an idiot, and move that to character. While that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and do our weapon. So mesh, then armature, file, export. Double check that everything's set up the same, which it should be, and export. Let's drag the pistol in there, import it all. All right, so I haven't created a UV map, so we just got to unwrap it. Uh, that's honestly not a big deal. Just select the mesh. Doesn't really matter. Press U. Smart. Per yeah. Smart UV. Yeah. UV project. I always give it a padding of about 0.012 or 0.12. And unwrap. Then we're gonna re-export it and re-import it. Okay. Now we should be good. Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter for the physics asset at the moment. So, we now have... our pistol set up. Let's look at our character mesh too. Whoa. As well as our character mesh. We don't have any textures for them. We're not going to do any of that in this video or in this series. We're just doing the animations. So let's compare the scale of these guys to our first person mannequin. I'm going to drag you out. Drag out the pistol. Let's just drag out the character or the skill or the FPS guy. Whoops. Should be a little smaller. Which it is, but I think the scale kind of works out nicely. So it should match the, uh, just kind of everything that you find on the marketplace and all that kind of stuff, just fine. Let's get rid of all that. We're gonna go File, Save All. So we now have our, well, everything we need from our projects inside of our or inside of our Unreal Engine project. So now that we have that, we can actually go and start setting ourselves up for animation inside of Blender. So I will see you then.